throw out all the other projects. We have a winner. Man, it's hot in here. I'm glad I took off that plaid shirt I was wearing just five minutes ago. Hello? Jordan, hey, hey, it's Craig. Um, listen, I'm still out here at the museum. I've got the scanner booked for another 17 minutes. Uh, I, I think that E8's going to be really, really popular. It was probably one of the biggest launches we've ever done. But while I'm here and I've got 17 minutes to kill before we have to turn the scanner back in, anything else you want me to scan? Just find any old random junker you think is appropriate and we'll make it. Because, you know, that's just how it works with us model trade manufacturers. We just make whatever. Anything I want? Yep, anything you want. How about pigeons? No, we're not going over this again. No pigeons. All right, all right, all right. I'll look around, see what I can find. All right, sounds good. Bye. That guy and his pigeons. I call us Cody back again. Yellow. Hey, Gomez, it's Patrick. He just took out life insurance. But wait, isn't he too old for life insurance? Hi, Craig Walker with Rapido Trains, and today we're at the Southern California Railway Museum, formerly the Orange Empire Railway Museum, and before that, the Orange Empire Trolley Museum. Today we're back to measure another locomotive. Which locomotive? We'll find out. Trains is excited to be able to offer the first accurate models of these groundbreaking diesels. We will have a variety of details available on these locomotives from uh, different walkway mounted toolbox configurations, uh, some on the engineer side, some on the fireman side, some on both sides, and a few with none. Also we will have, for the first time on a plastic model, the class lights in the nose or on the long hood angled correctly, not forward, but angled out a little bit. Of course, the models will be available with or without dynamic brakes. We're going to be having uh, LED lighting included, uh, along with more than just the headlights and class lights, cab interior lights, the light that shines down on the truck so the engineer can tell if the engine's moving in, in the dark. We'll have a fan housing inside the grill area. I don't believe that's been done in plastic before. Uh, there will be a lot of other up till now uh, ignored details uh, included as well. and. Uh, you know, you expect that from us, don't you? And also, we're going to be doing the high nose, which nobody's ever done in plastic. Uh, and if you're modeling Frisco or Union Pacific, or if you want demonstrators, the high noses are a must. And they're pretty cool looking engines. And these will have a sound system, of course, with lock sound uh, decoders installed. It's going to be awesome sound. So we'd like to thank the, the museum out there in Paris. Uh, for allowing us access to the engine, moving it around as needed, uh, letting us climb around on it, climb in it. They also had to listen to my daughter gripe because she was my cameraman that day and uh, she hates the heat. 
But, uh, but they let her operate it, and that made it all worthwhile in her book. It's a great museum. If, you, if you're in Southern California, I highly recommend it. Stop by. Tell them Rapido sent you. So anyway, we hope you're as excited as I appear to be about the uh, upcoming U25B. Uh, and yes, I am actually very excited about it. This is a locomotive I've wanted for many, many years. And I'm old, so many, 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 many years uh, to be done right. And uh, uh, it was owned by a lot of the roads I personally like, like Rock Island, Southern Pacific, Santa Fe. Yeah, New Haven's in there, but who cares? Ooh, did I say that out loud again? Darn it. So anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. And we hope you're as excited as we are. Did I say that already? I bet I did, because I tend to repeat myself. Because again, I'm old. U25Bs? Southern Pacific had a huge fleet of those. And I'm going to need some when we do them in the second release. Okay, now the brakes are released. Take this handle and pull it back one click. Here we go. Pull that brassing out toward you. This turns the bell on. Just leave that on for the time being. Okay, give it one more click on the throttle. One more this one way? One more toward you, yeah. Oh, okay, go along. That's land squealing. Take all four of us to put it back if it does. Four? Very good. You can go all the way if you like. Now that you're stopped, you can go all the way like that. And then you want to take the reverser and center it. Boom, and then turn the bell off for, for sanity's sake for the moment.